Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this episode, we will see how we can make this kind of particle effect. You can add it to something where the splash effect is needed, maybe more like a balloon squeezing or bursting or something like that. So we will see how we can do that. And for the purpose, let me stop this one. We will need three shapes. So let me move to Photoshop. And you can also download these shapes from the internet if you don't have Photoshop, but uh, we will make them. So let's open a new document and its width will be 512 and height will be 512. So it's an uh, image of 512 by 512. I'm opening it. So let's color the background to black. After that, in shapes, first of all, select the color fill to white and here choose custom shapes. From the custom shapes, first of all, we will need a droplet. Here's the droplet. So first of all, we will uh, hold Alt and Shift and we will draw our droplet. And by holding Alt and Shift, it will make it in equal size from all sides. Okay, it's now centered. Now click on Shift and rotate it on its right side. Resize it. Okay. Now turn off this background and save this image as PNG. I already have this shape made, so I'm not going to save this. The second shape that we are going to need is a circle. So let's make a circle like this, holding Alt and Shift. We will make a circle and then we will center this. And again, we will save this shape. The sh third shape we need is, we will go here, we'll go to custom shapes and we will need some splash effect. And uh, this is the effect that we're looking for. Draw it. Don't hold Alt and Shift because uh, this time we don't need a proportional image. We need something like this. Resize it. With free hands I think this looks good now also save this image now I have all of these three images saved in my computer so I will drag them directly to my unity okay now I'll select all of them first of all click on this one and click on apply so that we can see that which shape is which one Okay, now here we are going to create three materials. Material number one will be circle underscore mat. Let's choose the shader to be legacy shader, particles and multiply double. And drag and drop your circle here. Now we will click on Control D and it will duplicate our material for us and we will rename it to droplet underscore mat and also we will duplicate it again and now we will rename it to splash underscore mat and we will drag and drop our splash image to it. Now we will stop working on our particle system. Let me uncheck it. Now click on effects particle system. Here we have a new particle system. First of all, we will reduce its duration to two and lifetime to be random between two constant. It will be between 0 0.5 and two. Secondly, start speed can be different. So we will choose random between two constant. It will be between mm, we will see these values later on, but let me put some random values here. It can be 0 0.1 and no, 0 0.5 and 2 or 5, 0 0.5 and 5. Okay. Let me first put my material here so it would be easy for us to see the size and shape. First of all, this is our droplet particle system. So rename it to droplet underscore particle system. In the renderer, we will choose stretch billboard and we will add 
droplet okay we haven't selected our droplet here let me do that first now drag and drop your droplet material here now you can see that the droplets are moving after that let me select the size it can be between 0.1 0.5 I think that's good it's a good size let's increase the speed a little bit that's too much take it back to 5 here in shape select sphere now oh, it's making more sense bring it up a little bit let's make the duration to three second and left and maximum lifetime to three as well oh no bring it back to two and increase the speed a little bit let's see which value suits the best it is good and minimum speed should be one okay we will see these values later on after that, reduce the radius to the smallest value. Also add a little bit of gravity. 0 0.1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 0 0.5 is good. After that, we will change our emission we don't need a rate over time put it to zero we will need a burst we can choose random values between bursts so we will choose random between two constant it can be between 5 and 20 so it's making more sense now let me choose a color zoom my camera a little bit so we can see it clearly now look at this one it's looking better now we want our uh, splash elements to collide with the ground so we will add a little collision to it so click on collision and here choose the world it will collide with everything that it touches that has a glider on it let's reduce the bounce value a little bit because water doesn't bounce that much it's bouncing after that we will add an element that will make it look like that uh, there was a big uh, a bunch of splash and it bursted out later on so how we will do that in the hierarchy click on effects particle system and here we will match the elements of the previous particle system with this one lifetime 2 duration 2 and speed will be 0 click on restart so that we can see it okay emission will be 1 Let's change, change the emission. We don't need emission. Add a burst to it and put the count to 1. And that's how we will use it. Now we will change its name to orb underscore particle system. And in the renderer, uh, we will put our circular material. We will turn the looping off and uh, we will use size of a lifetime and uh, this is how it will look but uh, it will decrease the size a little bit fast so let's drag it here so that it can reduce the size very fast play with these values a little bit now it's much smoother see how it's working it's looking good uh, what is the shape shape is sphere okay now we will also change its color to red 
we start it also change its uh, color over lifetime add a new key here and reduce the alpha value of this one okay now we're done with this one as well now we will add a sub emitter sub emitter means that a uh, uh, particle will emit a something when it will collide with the ground so we are going to uh, emit a splash element when our particle will collide with the ground so okay we will make a new sub emitter uh, copy this one splash underscore particle system drag and drop your splash material here drag and drop this one here okay on our sub emitter we will uncheck size over lifetime okay we will also uncheck looping we'll change the shape to circle also in the droplet particle system we will click on sub emitter and choose death from here now it will emit the sub emitters whenever uh, it will collide with the ground but our sub emitters are fading a little bit uh, off so let's click on our sub emitters and click on color over lifetime and make the color fading more gra gradual So this is how our splash particle system will look. Let me put it on loop in order to see how it looks. Okay, so, so this is how it will look. Let me zoom out the camera a little bit. So our splashing is happening and then it is emitting some splash on the ground. I think some of the splash particles are very big, so let me reduce their size a little bit. Let's make the size random and in between two constant so it will be 0 0.1 0 0.1 is way too small so 0 0.5 to okay 0 0.5 to 1 so now it's randomly picking the size so this is how we make the splash particle system so i hope you enjoyed the video if you enjoyed it make sure to hit the like button and if you have any question do let me know in the comments below and make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos like these i will see you in the next video goodbye do check out my Unity Space Shooter game course on Udemy. The link is available in the description. In this game, you will have to survive against enemy ships and asteroids. We will move through the course step by step. We will start just from scratch by setting up the project, setting up our player ship, camera setup, adjusting scene lighting, adding background elements, moving the player through controls, adding constraints to the game elements, scrolling our background elements, shooting bullets, spawning hazards in the scene, sounds and music, counting scores and saving high scores, touch controls, enemy ships, power-ups to triple bullets, and finally building the game on mobile devices. I will walk you through the complete process of making the game and writing the code using C Sharp. I will be giving you all the resources to practice that I will use to make the game. Also, I will attach the completed project with each episode for you to download and practice it. Along with that, I will provide you complete support throughout the course by answering your questions. So what are you waiting for? Register now and start making your game today.